Happy Monday, Ember Eagles. I wanted to take a minute and read another book for you as we are entering the holiday season. Um, many in our community celebrate Christmas and some celebrate Hanukkah. Today is the last day of Hanukkah and it is a holiday in the Jewish religion. It is a very um, holy holiday in the Jewish religion as today is the last day. Um, it is the holiday of lights and you will see candles as symbols in their holiday and a few other symbols that we're gonna talk about in this book that I have for you today. The book I have for you today kind of takes both traditions of um, Santa and Christmas and combines it with Hanukkah, so I cannot wait to read this book to you. It is called Latkes for Santa Claus, and it is by Janie Amos, and um, I don't know who the publisher is. It is published by Sky Pony Press. To Santa, the North Pole.com from Anna at myhouse.com. My do my new dad and stepbrother celebrate Christmas. So there you're coming to my house for the very first time. And I think you must be really tired of cookies. I'm going to leave you the best Santa treat ever. Santa is too busy to answer emails. Michael sat on the floor spinning Anna's dreidel. Besides, my cookies are the best Santa treat ever. He launched the dreidel across the floor. Anna's mind whirled. Ready to bake, Michael asked. Anna knew she could think of something better than cookies. A pot of matzo ball soup simmered on the stove. Steam swirled toward Anna like chimney smoke. The chickeny smell made her stomach growl. Yes, she pumped her fist. I bet Santa would love Booby Sadie's matzo ball soup. Santa can't eat soup with his fingers, Michael said. Besides, Santa loves my sugar cookies. She imagined Balls of matzah zooming by, Santa blooping on his sled. Slurp, burp, slop, spill, matzo balls on Santa's head. Anna sighed. Michael was right. Matzo ball soup would never do. Anna peeked into a pan of Aunt Bee's noodle kugel. She, yes, she clasped her hand. I bet Santa would love the sweet taste of this. The noodles look like worms, Michael said, and Santa can't eat that with his fingers. He measured flour into a bowl. Besides, Santa loves my oatmeal cookies. Anna imagined chunks of kugel slipping by, Santa munching on his sled, slurp, burp, slop, spill, noodle kugel on his head. Anna sighed. Michael was right. Noodle kugel will never do. Anna opened up a jar of Aunt Sarah's zings. Yes, I bet Aunt I thought Santa would love this stew. Squishy carrots and raisins, Michael rolled his eyes. Santa can't eat stew with his fingers. Besides, Santa loves my chocolate chip cookies. Anna imagined a bowl of stew zipping by, Santa spooning on his sled. Slurp, burp, plop, spill, gobs of stew on Santa's head. Anna sighed. Michael was right. That would never do. She needed something Santa could eat with his fingers and wouldn't make a mess. She snuck away and sat down in her thinking spot. Her mind spun like a dizzy dreidel until finally it landed on exactly what she was looking for. Round, just like a cookie, but it wasn't a cookie. No spills, no slurps, well, maybe a burp. Her mother had been frying them all afternoon. She found them wrapped in the fridge and hid a plateful in the pantry. That night, Anna lay in her bed with her eyes wide open. Through her bedroom window, she watched the icy wind lift, like, lift her snowman scarf and carry it across the yard like a magic carpet. Everyone in the house fell asleep. Everyone but Anna. She tiptoed into the pantry. She added four of her treats to the plate of Michael's cookies. Latkes. Yes, latkes were perfect. Anna imagined a latke in Santa's hand, latkes in the sled, latkes in, in his tummy as he hurried off to bed. The wind whistled Christmas songs and stars twinkled like Hanukkah lights. Any minute now, Santa's reindeer would click clack on the roof. She closed her eyes for a teensy tiny bit. It's Christmas, Michael shouted, startling Anna. She jumped out of bed and they scrambled into the living room. My cookies are all gone, Michael whooped. So are my lockies, Anna danced around. Michael frowned at her. You gave him lockies? They are perfect to eat with your finger fingers, Anna wiggled her fingers in Michael's face. Just then, the computer ding, signaling, signaling a new email. To Anna at myhouse.com from Santa at the North I loved your latkes. So did Mrs. Claus. Can you please send her recipe to add to her cookbook? 
I can't wait to see what special treat you leave me next year. Santa. He answered. Michael leaned over Santa's shoulder. I guess cookies are kind of boring. How about next year we leave Grandma Linda's lemon jello? Santa can't eat jello with his fingers, Anna teased. How about lucky brownies, Michael asked. Hmm. Anna pressed her finger to her lips. I bet together we can think of something really special. We have lots of time to figure it out. And then in the end, it has the ingredients for the recipe. So I love this book because it takes the traditions of two holidays and talks about both of them. And remember we talk about it's important to learn about other people's traditions and holidays. And even though we may not celebrate them, we learn about them and we learn about what makes people unique. And there's always similarities in the different holidays and traditions. And we look at what makes us, what things we have in common and what makes us different are. Please remember that I love you so very much. Wear your mask, wash your hands, have an amazing holiday season, and always know that you are loved. I love you.